armor plates armor plates like it just it made sense in my mind forgive me I've been up all night hey guys it's Em today I'm gonna be introducing you to Matto and Matto is a three banded armadillo he may look like a basketball but he's not a basketball are you ready for this Dun 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 Hola, bon dia. Matto is a three-banded armadillo. He's called a three-banded armadillo because he has one, two, three bands on his back. And he is the only armadillo in the world that can roll into such a spherical shape. Look at that. That's just an impenetrable force field right there. Um, you also, if you're holding armadillos, have to be very, very careful not to trap your fingers on the inside. Because believe me, if you trap your fingers inside, you're not going to get them out anytime soon. And it's very, very painful. I may speak from experience. We were all interns once upon a time, okay? Now, Matto would come from South America. He would occur throughout Brazil and Argentina. In fact, they're mostly plentiful in Brazil. However, there's lots of different species of armadillo. There are actually 21 species of armadillo, and they range from the giant armadillo, which is about five feet long, or about a meter and a half, all the way to the tiny little pink fairy armadillo and it is the cutest thing in the world it would be a dream come true if i ever got to meet a pink fairy armadillo it's a pink fairy armadillo so up here on his armored back this is called his carapace and it's made of leathery bony plates covered in really tough skin as well as keratin just like our fingernails and our hair keratin i don't know if you can see but matto does have an eyeball just inside there. However, on this side, he's actually missing his eyeball. His right-hand side eye was lost in a freak accident. Nobody knows how it happened, but what we think happened is one of his armored plates on the side here may have caught it and aggravated it, but he had to have an operation to take the eye out. He's not in any pain now. He's absolutely fine. He can still see with his other eye. I can see your eyeball, and I also see your soft belly. Look at that. He's actually got hair underneath his belly. I'm just going to pop him down for a sec because he's getting a bit uncomfortable. So he does actually have a very soft belly and hair on the inside. He is a true mammal. A lot of people think that armadillos might lay eggs. They don't lay eggs. They are a true placental mammal. They give birth to live young and then they have to feed their young on milk. Obviously Matto doesn't because he's a boy. But if they were a female, they would give birth to young and nurse them from teats, feed them milk, and raise them up for a couple of months. Recently there was a famous incident in the news where someone tried to shoot an armadillo for fun. Apparently, the bullet ricocheted off of the shell and back at that person who ends up going to hospital. So please, don't go around shooting armadillos. It's not nice. Just give them respect, give them their space, and they won't do you any harm. Something you'll realize when you look at his mouth is he actually has a really, really tiny mouth. He can't open it wide at all. It's actually very, very small, like a little pencil tip. And what he has is a very long tongue. So he'll use these amazing claws he has in the front here to dig into termite mounds. He'll really scrape away their champion, champion diggers. So he'll use that sticky tongue to basically go and go down little holes and lick up as many termites or invertebrates as he can. <laughs> That said, he's not insectivorous. He's actually omnivorous, so he will eat a whole variety of different foods. He will eat things ranging from carrion, which are dead animals, all the way to different fruits and vegetables, as well as invertebrates as well. They're very opportunistic, and they're not really very picky. So what we feed them is a sort of mashup of apples, carrots, chicken breast, vionate, which is like a, a vitamin supplement. Now, obviously, with Matto, his defense is to turn into a tight, impenetrable ball. He's kind of relaxed at the moment, but if you wanted to, you wouldn't be able to see his face at all. It would be completely balled up like this, and you wouldn't be able to get him. But other species of armadillo can't do that because it's only the three banded which can roll into a true ball. But other armadillos do have a very cool defense mechanism. Because they all have the amazing ability to dig, if they sense danger, some will just dig a really quick little hole and hide their bodies there, flat to the ground, so it's just their carapace, this top part, peeking out above the ground and the rest of them is safe beneath the ground. But also, 
These sides here on an armadillo are very, very sharp when they close them quickly. What they can do is they'll actually throw themselves on top of the animal and close up and they'll repeatedly do this. And that's a defense mechanism because it hurts the animal that's trying to hurt them. Without going too much into the ethics of experimenting on animals, scientists have been doing different kinds of experiments to explore the possibilities of cures for leprosy because armadillos are one of the only other animals in the world, apart from humans, who can actually contract leprosy. So they have been observed by scientists for many years now in order to try and find a cure for leprosy. Matu over here is only about 10 years old, so he's still got a way to go. They do live to be about 17 years old in captivity. Of course, in the wild, this would be much less because they have flash floods, drought, predators, roads to contend with. In fact, you often see these guys as roadkill. So please, if you're driving around, please look out for these guys. They can't see very well on the road, and if you're flashing your lights to them, it just confuses them. If you haven't already, please remember to hit that subscribe button down below, and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single upload. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in another creature feature soon. Bye! Say bye, Matto. Bye!